get these prices down and even more importantly get us on a path to energy independence before it's too late what we are seeing is you know a government run for the oil companies it's very very clear we are having an election soon this is going to be a very very big issue well we knew this was going to happen prices are now back up over three dollars a gallon if we do nothing within all too short a time they're going to be at four dollars a gallon and five dollars a gallon and there's going to be a giant hole getting bigger and bigger and bigger in every consumer's pocketbook or wallet we have held so many um, press events we've made so many speeches we've offered realistic practical alternatives and the problem keeps getting worse and this is indicative of this administration's failed policies we could have rebuilt american schools and roads and bridges we could have made historic investments in alternative energy to create millions of american jobs we could have headed off four dollar a gallon gas and begun to end the tyranny of oil in our time instead the president decided to spend our money on tax cuts for corporations and the wealthy and a war in iraq that has already lasted longer than world war two and senator mccain has fully embraced these bush policies one of the great indictments that i have of george bush is that he's injected a strain of fatalism into our country's bloodstream we can't solve the energy and global warming crisis that'll wreck the economy well the fact is if we don't we are wrecking our economy what do you think a hundred dollar a barrel oil means to our economy since this administration took over uh, in the executive uh, in the executive branch we are now paying more than double for gas than when President Bush first took office. During the past eight years, our energy policy has been directed by the two oil men in the White House. Their failed policy has increased our dependence on foreign oil, damaged our economy, and left consumers paying record prices at the pump. Companies. Drivers are paying a heavy price for the Bush administration's failure to enact a comprehensive energy strategy. This Congress, under the Democratic leadership, is working to make up for years of inaction, taking America in a new direction that helps bring down the cost of gas. Gas prices have more than doubled since George Bush became our president. In every corner of our country, we're paying record gas prices. When prices first began to rise, it was a hassle. Then it became a burden. Now, it's a crisis for every American family. This week, Democrats offered a new plan a clean break from the failed Bush policies that were literally written by the big oil companies. On President Bush's watch, American families are earning less today than they did eight years ago. And that's the truth. Yet paying more than ever for everyday necessities like gasoline. In the first days of his presidency, President Bush put Vice President Cheney in charge of a secret energy task force. They invited the top oil company executives into the White House and told them to bring along their wish lists. It's really no surprise what happened next. With two oil men in the White House, gas prices have nearly tripled, and oil company profits are up over 300%. For eight years, two oil men in the White House have crafted this country's energy policy. And for eight years, big oil has raked in unprecedented profits. Barack Obama summed up our sentiment on the Bush-McCain policy in one word. Enough. At a time when our economy is in turmoil and wages are stagnant, hardworking families are struggling to pay rising costs, and few costs obviously are rising faster than the ones people pay at the pump. When George Bush asked Dick Cheney to come up with our energy policy a few years ago, he met with the environmental groups once, he met with the renewable energy groups once, he met with the oil and gas companies 40 times. And so it's not surprising then that the laws that have come out of Washington have been good for the oil companies, not so good for consumers. And it rejects Democratic proposals to crack down on oil company price gouging, even though big oil has reaped record profits while gas prices have shot through the roof. These are the burdens middle class families will bear as a result of the president's budget. The price of oil is at the doorstep. Four dollars plus per gallon for oil is attributed to oil to oil men in the White House. I'll bet you wince when you have to fill up the family car at the gas station, especially knowing that a lot of that money is going straight to countries that don't like us very much. 
That's why we Democrats are fighting for real energy independence, not more of President Bush's big subsidies for big oil.